Every year, over one million people flock to the streets of New Orleans to experience Mardi Gras. But where did this strange celebration come from? What is its purpose? And how did it end up in New Orleans, Louisiana? Join us as we discover the history and traditions of New Orleans Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is translated roughly uh, from the French as Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday is the day before Ash Wednesday, which on the Catholic calendar begins the season of Lent and the season of atonement leading up to Easter. What we know as Mardi Gras today came as a Catholic celebration. That's the day you eat everything you can, drink everything you can, and do everything wrong that you can because Ash Wednesday is Lent and that's when you can't do anything. And you know, during the season of Lent, especially now, we focus on you know, sacrificing as we lead to this great celebration of the Passion of our Lord and Easter. This is my first Mardi Gras and it's very exciting. The Mardi Gras here in the United States, the Carnival in Brazil and the Carnival in Italy are all celebrated on the same day. Uh, it's a day of fun, festivities and culture. Biggest party in the world, I guess, as they say. That's literally what it's like. It's like every single person on St. Charles Avenue and Napoleon and the French Quarter is having a party and you're invited. Mardi Gras is not a place, it's a happening, it's an event, it's an experience. Tuesday is all out day, do whatever you want, eat as much as you want, because tomorrow <laughs> it's over. Everybody's got their own little Mardi Gras traditions. You know, some families have like a place in the quarter they always go and that's where they hang out. That's their Mardi Gras tradition, that's what they do. Every year we're here for Mardi Gras. Every year, same spot. The happiness, the, the joviality of the whole situation is really, it's overwhelming, it really is. Being with the family is, is, is a, a tradition of Mardi Gras ever since we was kids, so it's beautiful, it's, it's just beautiful. I was already in love with New Orleans, but Mardi Gras kind of confirmed it for me. Good time, eat, catch bees, be with the family. It's very unfortunate that the, the national news media has focused on about a 1% part of Carnival and made that the image of Mardi Gras New Orleans. It's not something that you should be afraid of. You know, everyone's just coming together, family oriented, bring the kids out in the morning and just have a great time. The things that you will see on television, the, the wild, crazy, debauched behavior that you'll see on Bourbon Street, that is the tiniest slice of Mardi Gras. This is really a remarkably wholesome, safe, family-oriented celebration. I heard a lot of rumors, but I found out that none of the rumors are actually true. You will not see one ounce of inappropriate flesh the entire length of St. Charles Avenue. I never see women taking their tops off. Before I came, I kind of had in my mind that Mardi Gras might be this like kind of drunken stupor, but no, it was such an amazing time for kids. Definitely not the, the raucous party that you see in some parts of the quarter. That's really limited to just a, a small area of the quarter. Now, is there a lot of drinking going on at Mardi Gras? You bet there is. <laughs> There's a lot of celebrating. It's about celebration and just, you know, Life is about celebration. Oh, there's tons of families, tons of cooking, there's tons of barbecues going on, there's everything. It's just like every atmosphere is here. It's the best place to be. Everybody's having a good time. Regardless of what they're doing, they're having a good time. It's, it's inexplicable. I mean, I can't even, I can't even say where can you walk around dressed like this and, and nobody looks at you like you're completely going to be committed or something. This is the only time during uh, Mardi Gras that this is accepted. It's just so much fun to like walk down the street and see people dancing in the street and you can talk to strangers and you just have a great time all day. Because there's going to be a party no matter what. And the one thing New Orleans can claim is Mardi Gras as its party. The whole celebration of carnival, which means farewell to meat, is supposed to be, all right, one last fling with all of the good life things before we go into the privations of Lent. There is no city in the South like New Orleans. This is the place to be. I've been doing Mardi Gras since I was 14. Well, this is my, this is my baby girl first year. For the last 20 years. The culture here, the environment here, the food here. It brings out the odd and like everything in the city, but it's a good, it's a good oddness. <laughs> the people is what really makes New Orleans, the people here. I think it's just one, one good old happy days. Everybody get together and want to celebrate it. And that's what we do. I tell you what, there's, there's no greater atmosphere than right now in New Orleans, anywhere in the world. And that's why so many people come here. Man, you just, just can't help but to be out here. The whole world needs to be here.
The great thing about Mardi Gras is that it involves everyone. There is a way for everybody to participate in Mardi Gras, whether you're an infant wearing your first Mardi Gras costume, or you've been to 80 or 90 Mardi Gras before and you watch the parades go down the street. Mardi Gras is just about 100% back since Katrina, and Mardi Gras was really the first indication that this city was gonna bounce back. I got on the phone with the captain of Rex, and he said, Blaine, the Rex organization, the floats are gonna roll, even if we roll with watermarks on the float. We put on a Mardi Gras. We chose to celebrate rather than surrender. They felt that this was the thing that was gonna pick the spirits of the whole city up. We had every right to just take a year off, but we didn't because we needed this for our souls. We've always been a town known for celebrations and for parties, from, from our, our Catholic church experiences to our schools to, you know, everything that is New Orleans is about a celebration. This is a celebration we do for ourselves. It's part of our heritage. 2,000 years from now, there'll be guys running around in space outfits still trying to catch a bead at a parade. New Orleans Mardi Gras definitely reflects its own unique style and flair. One thing is certain, Mardi Gras is an artistic celebration of fun, food, and family.